Hey there, history buffs and strategy lovers. Buckle up your chainmail, cause we're about to take a trip back in time to a land of knights, quests, and maybe a few dragons, fingers crossed. Today, we're setting our sights on Crown Wars, The Black Prince, a brand new turn-based tactics and strategy game arriving May 23, 2024 for PlayStation 5. Xbox Series X slash S, PC, and eventually Nintendo Switch. A land of chivalry, and maybe a little chaos. Now, this isn't your typical princess needs rescuing fairy tale. Crown Wars. The Black Prince throws you right into the thick of the Hundred Years' War. Real-life conflict between France and England that lasted, well, way longer than a hundred years. Spoiler alert. History isn't always super accurate. Here, you'll find yourself in a fantasy version of 14th century France, a land where brave knights clash with not-so-friendly brigands, and a mysterious evil force lurks in the shadows. Sounds like a recipe for an epic adventure, right? Become a lord or lady of the land. But you won't be just watching the jousting from the sidelines. In Crown Wars, the Black Prince, you take charge as the head of a noble French house. Think of it like being a super important mayor, but with a much cooler hat and the constant threat of being attacked by, well, pretty much everyone. Your job? To lead your domain to glory. That means building up your lands, training fierce warriors, and making tough decisions that might just change the fate of the kingdom. Building your base. Now, you can't exactly fight a war from a straw hut. Luckily, Crown Wars lets you develop your very own castle, which will be your home base for all things strategic. Here, you'll construct different buildings to train your troops, manage resources, and maybe even throw a fancy banquet or two. Gotta keep the morale high, you know? Choosing your crew. Speaking of troops, you won't be leading this war effort alone. You'll have a variety of different units at your disposal, from skilled archers who can rain down arrows from afar, to heavily armored knights who can charge headfirst into battle. But here's the cool thing. The type of units you can train depends on the noble house you choose at the beginning of the game. Each house has its own strengths and weaknesses, so you'll need to pick the one that best suits your playstyle. The thrill of the fight. Crown Wars uses a turn-based combat system, which means you and your opponent take turns moving your units around a grid-based battlefield. It might sound simple, but there's a surprising amount of depth here. You'll need to consider the strengths and weaknesses of your units, the terrain they're fighting on, and even the weather conditions, who knew a little rain could turn the tide of battle. Thinking like a chess master, but with more swords. Positioning your troops strategically is key. Flanking your enemies, attacking them from the side, can give you a huge advantage. And just like a knight on a hot horse, you'll want to charge your cavalry units at the right moment to break through enemy lines. Every soldier counts. But remember, your troops aren't just numbers on a screen. They're brave men and women. Or maybe even orcs and elves, depending on your house, who risk their lives for your cause. So, keeping them alive and healthy is important. Don't be a reckless commander and send them on suicide missions. The spoils of war. Of course, victory in battle isn't just about bragging rights, although those are pretty cool too. Winning battles will earn you valuable resources that you can use to upgrade your castle, train even stronger troops, and expand your domain. Managing your domain, more than just picking flowers. But war isn't the only thing on your plate as a noble leader. You'll also need to manage your domain, which is basically all the land and villages under your control. Happy peasants mean a happy you, and happy peasants mean more tax revenue to fund your war machine. Or maybe that new fancy fountain you've been eyeing. Keeping the people happy and productive, there's a lot that goes into keeping your domain running smoothly. You'll need to build farms to produce food, workshops to craft weapons and armor, and taverns to keep your troops' spirits high, just don't let them get too rowdy. A leader's choices. Making the right choices is crucial here. Do you invest in building a stronger military or focus on improving your people's lives? There's no one-size-fits-all answer, and the best approach will depend on your playstyle and the current situation in the kingdom. All right, warriors, we've covered a lot of ground. We explored the world of Crown Wars, the Black Prince, its turn-based battles, domain management, and the promise of an epic medieval adventure. But before you go pre-ordering your copy or rushing to build a real-life castle, maybe not the best use of funds, let's talk about some potential drawbacks. Is it all shiny armor and epic quests? 
One thing to consider is the complexity. Crown Wars can get pretty deep, especially when it comes to managing your domain. There are a lot of moving parts, and it might take some time to get the hang of things. If you're looking for a quick and casual strategy game, this might not be the best fit. Familiar territory? Another potential drawback is the lack of originality. The medieval setting, while charming, isn't exactly groundbreaking. If you're tired of orcs and elves, or even historically inspired fantasy, Crown Wars might feel a bit repetitive. Aesthetics aren't everything, but they do help. The visuals in Crown Wars are decent, but they might not blow you away. Some players might find the graphics a bit on the simpler side, especially compared to other modern strategy games. The final verdict, a medieval feast with a few burnt bits. So, should you skip Crown Wars, the Black Prince altogether? Not necessarily. Here's the deal. If you're a fan of turn-based strategy games with a deep management system, and you don't mind a familiar fantasy setting, then this game has a lot to offer. The combat is tactical and engaging, and building up your domain can be really rewarding. Just be prepared to invest some time in learning the ropes, and don't expect the most cutting-edge graphics. So, is it a must-play? That depends on your preferences. But if you're looking for a strategic challenge with a healthy dose of medieval charm, then Crown Wars. The Black Prince might just be your cup of tea or flagon of ale. Thanks for joining me on this journey through the world of Crown Wars. I hope this guide has helped you decide whether this medieval epic is the right game for you. Until next time, keep calm and castle on. Hey there video game enthusiasts, and welcome. Today we're setting off on an adventure to explore the mysterious and intriguing world of Animal Well, a brand new side-scrolling puzzle platformer coming to PlayStation 5 and Nintendo Switch on May 9, 2024. Developed by Billy Basso, also known as Shared Memory, this game has been brewing, get it, because well, for nearly seven years, and it's finally ready to burst onto the scene. So, grab your flashlights, because things are about to get atmospheric. Imagine a world bathed in shadow, a sprawling labyrinth of twisting tunnels and hidden chambers. This shadowy scape is the enigmatic animal well, and it's your job to navigate its depths. Now, don't worry, it's not all doom and gloom. The world is beautifully crafted in a pixel art style that, while a little blocky by today's standards, brings a certain charm to the adventure. Think of it like your favorite childhood cartoon, but with a bit more mystery. But what about the animals, you ask? Well, that's a bit of a spoiler, isn't it? Let's just say the name, Animal Well, might be a bit misleading. There aren't exactly cuddly bunnies and playful puppies hopping around down there. In fact, you'll need to be on your guard, because this shadowy world has its secrets, and not all of them are friendly. Now, you wouldn't want to explore a dark and mysterious well without a light source, would you? Luckily, Animal Well has you covered. You'll be able to light candles as you venture deeper, pushing back the darkness and revealing the secrets hidden within. But lighting the way isn't just about keeping the spookies at bay. Those flickering flames will also be a big part of how you solve the game's puzzles. And speaking of puzzles, this is where Animal Well starts to flex its metaphorical muscles. The game is designed with a non-linear approach, which means you have some freedom in how you tackle those challenges. Don't like the look of that creepy corridor over there? No problem. Explore another path and come back to it later. Just remember, everything in this world is connected, and seemingly insignificant details might hold the key to a bigger puzzle later on. So keep your eyes peeled, and don't be afraid to experiment. But wait, there's more. While exploration and puzzle solving are the mainstays of Animal Well, the game also throws in a healthy dose of suspense to keep you on your toes. Remember, this well isn't exactly a vacation destination. There will be dangers lurking in the shadows, and you'll need to use your wits and maybe a little bit of quick thinking to avoid becoming a permanent resident. Don't worry, it's not a horror game, but it will keep you on the edge of your seat. All right, adventurers, we've painted a pretty rosy picture so far, but is Animal Well all sunshine and rainbows? Well, not quite. As with any game, there are bound to be some things that some folks might find a bit, well, not exactly deal breakers, but maybe more like minor inconveniences. For one thing, the pixel art style, while charming, might feel a little outdated to some players who are used to the fancy graphics of today's games. Additionally, 
the game leans more towards suspense and exploration than fast-paced action. So, if you're looking for an adrenaline rush, Animal Well might not be the first title you reach for. That being said, these are just minor nitpicks. If you're a fan of atmospheric puzzle platformers with a touch of mystery, then Animal Well is definitely worth checking out when it launches on May 9th for PlayStation 5 and Nintendo Switch. Animal Well isn't all just about navigating spooky corridors and lighting candles, although, to be fair, there's a lot of that too. The game also has a narrative woven into its fabric, a story waiting to be unraveled as you explore the well's depths. Now, the details are shrouded in a bit of mystery, which is all part of the fun. But what we do know is that you'll be piecing together the story bit by bit as you uncover clues scattered throughout the environment. Think of it like a giant treasure hunt, with the story as your ultimate reward. We mentioned before that the name Animal Well might be a bit of a misnomer. There aren't exactly parades of fluffy kittens and playful puppies waiting to greet you down there. But that doesn't mean the well is devoid of life. You'll encounter a cast of unique characters on your adventure, some helpful, some, well, let's just say they might not be too happy to see you. The exact nature of these characters is another mystery waiting to be unraveled. But one thing's for sure, they'll definitely add another layer of intrigue to your exploration. Who knows, you might even make a friend or two along the way, although, maybe don't get your hopes up for a high five from a giant spider. So, you're ready to brave the depths of the animal well, but how exactly will you be navigating this shadowy labyrinth? Well, buckle up, because Animal Well is a side-scrolling puzzle platformer. That means you'll be guiding your character from left to right, jumping over obstacles, solving puzzles, and maybe even encountering a few not-so-friendly surprises. The controls are designed to be user-friendly, so even if you're a newcomer to the world of platformers, you should be able to pick them up pretty quickly. Jumping feels responsive, and interacting with objects in the environment is intuitive. However, don't be fooled by the simple controls. Animal Well can get challenging at times, and mastering the platforming mechanics will be crucial for overcoming some of the game's later hurdles. But hey, that's part of the fun, right? We talked a bit about the positive aspects of Animal Well in Part 1, but no game is perfect. So, let's revisit those minor inconveniences we mentioned earlier. As charming as the pixel art style is, it might feel a little dated compared to some of the more graphically advanced games on the market. Additionally, the focus on exploration and puzzle solving might leave some players yearning for more fast-paced action. But here's the thing, these are just minor quibbles. If you're looking for an atmospheric and engaging puzzle platformer with a dash of mystery, then Animal Well is definitely worth checking out. The world is full of secrets waiting to be discovered, the puzzles are challenging but rewarding, and the suspense will keep you on the edge of your seat. So, is Animal Well the perfect game? Probably not for everyone, but for fans of exploration, puzzle solving, and a touch of the unexpected, it's a definite gem waiting to be unearthed. Alright adventurers, we've finally reached the surface after our deep dive into the mysterious world of Animal Well. We've explored the atmosphere, unraveled some of the story's secrets, met or maybe not so mad, the unique characters, and even taken the controls for a spin. Now, before you set off on your own subterranean adventure, let's answer some burning questions. Is Animal Well worth your hard-earned cash, and should it become the newest resident of your ever-growing game library? Here's the deal. Pinning down a game's exact value can be tricky. It depends on what you, the player, are looking for. Animal Well isn't a sprawling epic that will keep you glued to your screen for weeks on end. It's a more concise experience, focused on exploration, puzzle solving, and unraveling the well's mysteries. However, what it lacks in sheer length, it makes up for in charm and atmosphere. The world is beautifully crafted, even with its pixelated aesthetic, and the puzzles are clever and challenging without being frustrating. Plus, the touch of suspense keeps things interesting throughout your adventure. So, if you're looking for a shorter, but thoroughly enjoyable experience, then Animal Well delivers excellent value. But if you crave a game with dozens of hours of content, you might want to look elsewhere. Alright, time to wrap things up. Here's the bottom line. Animal Well is a fantastic puzzle platformer with a captivating atmosphere and a touch of mystery. It's perfect for gamers who enjoy a good challenge, love exploring unique and intriguing worlds, and don't mind a bit of suspense thrown into the mix. 
The pixel art style might not be for everyone, and the focus on exploration and puzzles over fast-paced action could be a turnoff for some. But for those who appreciate a well-crafted, pun intended, world with clever puzzles and a touch of the unexpected, Animal Well is a definite gem. So, should you buy it? If you're still on the fence, here's a quick recommendation cheat sheet. Thumbs up for puzzle platformer fans, gamers who enjoy exploration and atmosphere, those who appreciate a touch of mystery. Thumbs down for players who crave long, sprawling adventures, those who prefer fast-paced action over thoughtful exploration, anyone turned off by pixel art. Ultimately, the decision is yours. But hey, if you're looking for a charming and atmospheric adventure that will challenge your brain and keep you guessing, then take a plunge into the Animal Well on May 9th for PlayStation 5 and Nintendo Switch. You might just discover your new favorite game. And that concludes our deep dive into Animal Well. We hope this information helps you decide if this unique and intriguing game deserves a spot in your collection. Happy gaming, adventurers! Hey there adventurers! Grab your backpacks, water bottles, and maybe a spiky baseball bat, because we're diving into the wacky world of Biomutant. This action role-playing game throws you into a furry frenzy where you'll be kung fu fighting mutated creatures and exploring a world on the brink of collapse. Now, before we suit up and jump in, let's set the scene. Imagine a post-apocalyptic playground gone wild. A giant tree, the tree of life mind you, is super sick and leaking yucky stuff that's poisoning the whole place. Different animal tribes are squabbling amongst themselves, and it's basically every creature for themselves. Sounds like a blast, right? Alright, enough chit-chat, buckle up because it's time to create your very own Biomutant hero. Now, this ain't your typical, pick a hair color character creation screen. We're talking serious fursorialization here. You get to decide how buff, fluffy, or downright mutant your character looks. Think of it like building your own action figure, but way cooler because this one can punch things in the face. Here's the fun part. All these choices actually affect how you play the game. A super buff dude might hit harder but be a bit on the slow side, while a scrawny critter might be a dodge-happy ninja but not exactly a heavyweight champion. Just remember, with great fluff comes great responsibility, mostly the responsibility of looking fabulous while battling bad guys. Now that you've got your perfectly personalized post-apocalyptic pal, it's time to learn how to fight. Biomutant throws out the rulebook and lets you mix things up in its unique combat system. Think of it like a wild buffet of fighting styles. You've got your standard punches and kicks, but you can also throw in some mutant abilities and even shoot stuff with funky guns. It's all about finding a combo that works for you, whether you're a flurry of fists or a trigger-happy sharpshooter. But here's the thing, combat isn't always a serious business. Sometimes, while you're dodging a giant, mutated rat and whacking it with a giant wrench, because why not? You might just burst out laughing. The animations can be a bit silly sometimes, which adds to the light-hearted fun of the whole thing. The world of Biomutant is a sprawling, post-apocalyptic playground just begging to be explored. Think towering mountains, vast deserts, and even funky underwater zones, all filled with mutant creatures, hidden secrets, and enough loot to fill a shopping mall, if shopping malls still existed, that is. Getting around is half the fun. You can hoof it on foot if you like a good walk, but there are also funky vehicles to ride. We're talking mutant mechs, jet skis, and even giant, fluffy creatures you can tame and ride into battle. Just imagine cruising down a post-apocalyptic highway on a mutated rhinoceros. Epic, right? The world of Biomutant isn't exactly overflowing with friendly faces. You'll encounter all sorts of mutated creatures, from cuddly little critters to giant, slobbering monstrosities. Some of these creatures are just minding their own business, but others will be itching for a fight. Here's the cool thing. You can actually tame some of these creatures and make them your companions. Imagine rolling up to a fight with a pack of mutant wolves at your side. That'll show those bad guys who's boss. But it's not all sunshine and mutant puppy cuddles. There are also several different tribes vying for control of the world. You can choose to side with one of these tribes or just be a lone wolf, or should we say lone fox, and do your own thing. Just be careful who you mess with, because these tribes are pretty tough. So far, so fun. But is there a point? Okay, okay, 
We've been having a blast exploring the world and punching things in the face, but what's the actual story behind Biomutant? Well, buckle up, because it's a bit of a doozy. The giant tree of life we mentioned earlier is super sick, and the yucky stuff it's leaking is poisoning the whole world. If that's not bad enough, there are these giant, monstrous creatures called World Eaters that are trying to finish the job and destroy the tree of life completely. Not exactly a cheerful situation. Your job, as your awesomely customized character, is to figure out how to save the tree of life and stop the World Eaters. How you do that is totally up to you. You can be a brave hero and save the day, or you can be a total villain and take over the world yourself. The choice is yours. Biomutant shines in its unique world and character creation. The freedom to customize your character's appearance and fighting style is fantastic, and the world itself is full of surprises and interesting locations to explore. Whether you're cruising on a mutant motorcycle or battling a giant toad on a lily pad, there's always something new to discover. The combat system is another highlight. Mixing martial arts with guns and mutant abilities creates a fun and frenetic fighting style. Dodging a giant enemy and then blasting it with a funky shotgun never gets old, especially when paired with the game's sometimes silly animations that can have you laughing out loud. While Biomutant has a lot to offer, there are a few areas where it might not be perfect for everyone. The story, for example, can be a bit vague at times. While the overall goal of saving the Tree of Life is clear, the details and motivations behind some characters can be a little fuzzy. The open world, while vast and interesting, can also feel a bit empty at times. There are plenty of things to discover, but sometimes the spaces between these points of interest can feel a bit repetitive. The verdict. So, should you dive headfirst into the world of Biomutant? If you're looking for a wacky, open-world adventure with a unique combat system and tons of character customization, then Biomutant is definitely worth checking out. Just be prepared for a story that's a bit light on details and an open world that might feel a tad sparse in some areas. But hey, even if Biomutant isn't your perfect game, it's still a wild ride full of mutant mayhem and post-apocalyptic exploration. So, grab your weapon of choice, hop on your favorite mutated mount, and who knows, you might just save the world, or take it over, in the process. Thanks for joining us on this Biomutant adventure. We hope you enjoyed the ride.